In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NaOH. This is copper 2 sulfate and this is sodium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It looks like if we put a 2 as our coefficient, we'd have two sodium atoms like we have here, and then we have two hydroxide ions, and then we have two times the one. So two hydroxide ions here, copper and sulfate, those are balanced. So this is the molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each one of these substances. So we know that copper sulfate, sulfates are often soluble. Copper sulfate is a soluble compound, so we can write AQ after that aqueous. That means this will dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. Hydroxides in general aren't soluble except for those in group one, like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So this is soluble as well, write an AQ after that. We said that hydroxides aren't soluble in general, copper two hydroxide, that's not soluble. So what we do is we write an S for solid. So this won't dissolve, it's not soluble, it won't split apart into its ions, so we just write an S. In fact, this is a precipitate. When these two compounds react, this will form and fall to the bottom of the test tube. Sodium compounds are almost always soluble. Sulfates, usually soluble. So we'll write a little AQ after that aqueous. So we have the states for each one of the substances. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this is going to give us the complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called the total ionic equation. We know that sulfate ion here is always going to be 2 minus. Copper, therefore, has to be 2 plus. That's why we're calling it copper 2 sulfate. So we have Cu 2 plus, and I won't write aqueous until the end, plus the sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus. That's a good one to memorize. Sodium's in group 1, that has a 1 plus charge. Hydroxide ion, that's going to be negative. So we have sodium ion, Na plus, but that coefficient of 2 here in front means we have two of those. We also have two hydroxide ions. So these are the reactants. In the products, this is a solid. So in net ionic equations, we're not going to break solids apart into their ions. They aren't apart into their ions in the solution. They've not dissolved. So they're a solid. We just write CuOH2, copper 2 hydroxide. Plus, we have, we said this was positive, this is 2 minus, Na plus, and we have two of those. This little subscript means we have two, plus we have the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now what we can do is cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. In effect, they don't change in the chemical reaction. They're the same at the beginning as they are at the end, so we're not interested in those. So I see a sulfate here in the reactant, sulfate in the products, and across those out. I see two sodium ions in the reactants, two in the products, cross them out. And what's left, that'll be the net ionic equation. So let me clean this up, I'll add the states in, and then we'll have the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NaOH. So this is the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NaOH, copper 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.